In this tutorial, we will go over how to create a drop-down menu. You can pause this video at any time while you complete the steps on your own. Keep in mind that this is an advanced feature and not a feature we support. If your drop-down menu does not work for you, you will not be able to use it in your site. Now let's begin. A quick way to get the same effect is to add subpages. You can create a page with a second tier menu inside of it, so all of your subpages are located inside one page with its own menu. In the editor, click Add Page from the Page Manager. You will want to choose one that has a menu and pages already set up. For example, under Site Content, choose Articles. You can move this new page anywhere in your site by dragging and dropping it in your page manager. Now you can customize the menu. Move it to the top so it rests under your site's main menu. And you can see you now have clean looking subpages, complete with its own menu. And that's it. If you still wish to create a drop down menu, please continue watching this tutorial. First, when creating a drop down menu, you will need to use buttons and not an actual menu. Click Add, Navigation, Buttons. Choose one and add as many buttons as you want in your menu. For a quick trick, you can add one button and then duplicate it by holding down the Control and D keys together. Or you can click Edit, Duplicate from the top over here. Now set your buttons up horizontally and rename them. If you have a menu on your page already, delete it. Now add a page group via Add, Page Parts, Page Group. Choose the main page group, then delete the default text on the first page, resize, and place it beneath your buttons. Make sure your pages are sized big enough to place all of your drop-down buttons inside. If you have pages already set up, you can elongate your drop-down menu's page group to extend out to the background. This will ensure your drop-down menu attaches itself to your master page, which you need to do. If you do not set this up correctly, your drop-down menu will not work. You should have as many pages in your page group as you do menu buttons, plus an additional one. This means you need to add one extra page to your page group that will be your blank page when you have no drop-down menus selected. For example, I have three drop-down menus, so I will need to have four pages in my page group. If you have four drop-down menus, you will need to add five pages in this group. And you can add more pages via the Page Manager here. Now let's add your drop-down buttons. Make sure you leave the first page empty so your buttons can disappear. On page two, under your first menu button, go ahead and add your drop-down buttons. Make sure there is no space between your menu buttons and your drop-down menu buttons. If there is even the smallest space, the drop-down menu will not work. Now go to page 3 and add your drop-down buttons underneath your second button. And continue on page 4. Make sure you do the same for all of your buttons. And when you are done, your menu should look like this. Remember, there should be no space between your drop-down buttons and your menu buttons, or this will not work. Now let's add your behaviors. Click on your first menu button, Behaviors. Choose the Go to State on Roll. Select the page that contains your first button's drop-down menus, which should be page two of the drop-down menus page group. Now click on your second menu button, Behaviors, go to State on Roll. 
select page 3 of the drop-down menu's page group. Repeat these steps on all of your buttons in your menu. Add your behaviors and connect it to the correct page. Now it's time to add your shape so your drop-down menu will disappear when you move off of it. First, add your shape to your page via Add, Clip Art, Shapes, Basic, Add the square. Resize your square so that it is a little larger than your entire menu. And then place it on top of your entire menu. Click Behaviors. Go to State on Roll. Now connect it to the blank page of your drop-down menu page group, which should be your page 1. After this, click on your shape and select Move Backward. You want to make sure that you click this multiple times to make sure your menu and all of your buttons are resting on top of this shape. Now go through your page group and make sure all of your buttons are in front of this shape. This way, your shape's behavior is not blocking your entire menu. Then, go through and double check that you have no spaces between any of your buttons. Click back on your shape. Now click Settings. Drag the transparency bar to zero so your shape is invisible. Now all you have left to do is change the transition of your drop-down menus. Click on your page group, Transitions. Now choose a drop-down menu transition, like guillotine. And that's it. You have successfully set up your drop-down menu. Go ahead and preview your site to see it.